JWST has so far looked at Mars, Jupiter, Uranus and Neptune, but the poster child of the solar system Saturn is noticeably absent. That is, until now. Just to be clear, we don't yet have the nice polished and processed colour version that we're all waiting for, but I wanted to share with you some raw images straight from the telescope. They show the ringed planet looking pretty awesome, and they definitely get me excited to see a proper version, hopefully pretty soon. These were all taken with NERCAM, the near-infrared camera on board JWST, over about two and a half hours. But please remember, these are raw images, black and white with no processing, and won't be the official releases. On the other hand, I do think it's kind of cool to see something so fresh and raw from the telescope, and then we can compare these with the released versions in the future. Doing that will hopefully let us really appreciate the power of combining many images together to create something really beautiful. Also, full credit for these images goes to the JWST telescope and the team conducting this research program. Firstly, this one absolutely took my breath away. I love how unusual it is with pretty much only the rings visible. Even though it is a raw image of little more than four minutes observing time, look how good the resolution is in those rings. We can already see gaps and bands in the ring system, and even the shadow of Saturn at the back. Here, the planet is so dark due to the wavelength filter they've used for this picture. It's a wavelength of light that reflects very well off the rings, but almost nothing is coming off the planet at this wavelength. While Saturn and its rings both do glow in near-infrared wavelengths, the exact wavelength range they do so is different. In particular, here they've used 3.2 micron light, which is absorbed by the methane in Saturn's atmosphere, making it look very dark, but it's reflected pretty well by the rings. Also, these aren't stars between us and Saturn. The white spots here are just noise on the detector. This is a perfectly natural and expected thing, and will be cleaned up and averaged out of any processed images we see. But it is partly caused by cosmic rays hitting JWST. So even the noise here is caused by something kind of cool. Next up, we have this delightful blob making it clear why Galileo described Saturn as having ears, back before we knew about the rings at all and they had much worse telescopes. There's not too much to say about this one, except that we can make out the general shape of the Saturnian system, but it's way too bright here to make out any details. What I think is cool is the massive diffraction spikes coming off the whole system, where basically every spot on the planet is causing diffraction spikes, like we might normally see on a star, but they're all adding up to create these big diffraction bars seen here. For this image, Saturn was moved to the corner, so some focus could be paid to its moons. They're a bit hard to make out here in this raw image, but please let me know in the comments if you can work out which of the white blobs might be a moon. To help you out, in this similar but slightly different view, the moons actually become a lot more visible because they gain the characteristic JWST diffraction spikes too, so that makes things a bit easier for us. Also, I love that the angle here lets us see this faint outer ring so clearly. The inner edge of the rings is so crisp too, and we're starting to see the cloud bands on the planet itself. For that though, let's turn to our final image for the day. Here, we get a better idea of where the moons are, and we can see the bands of clouds on the planet really nicely. There are hints of Saturn's polar storms, and the rings are glowing super bright in these shorter 2.1 micron wavelengths. The cross pattern on the image is just due to the physical detector layout in NERCAM. The short wavelength detectors are laid out in this 2 by 2 pattern with small gaps in between. Don't worry though, those gaps in the image will be filled in with other observations where the telescope has moved very slightly, so the gaps cover a different part of the system. And at the end, the team can combine all of those images to get a full view of the planet. I for one, can't wait to see that. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below, and tell me whether or not this has got you excited to see even more of Saturn from JWST, and to complete the solar system family photo in full colour. I'll also leave a link in the description so you can go and see these and a bunch more of the raw Saturn images in the description below, so enjoy that if you fancy it. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!